and welcome back. I think we already talked to this guy, but that's cool too. So I think you can just walk around him now. Oh. Or you can keep talking to him. Okay. This he isn't fall come on, this isn't Fallout. It's <laughs> this isn't run around and talk to people. Make sure you're careful. I will. Imagine if you well, because you inevitably will. So imagine when you die. This this guy is responsible for the death of a ten year old, more or less. Oh, so I'm pretty sure you can pick up those rocks and throw them, and they're pretty good for, like, killing stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, if you're... I if don't you're, understand. If that. you're just holding it... Oh, excuse me. You can Is also just, like... Auto, stab? You can just automatically stab things, yeah. I don't recommend doing that much, because you kind of go slower, but... Okay, so now you have to find your way around to try and get to this place. But I'm, I'm need... gonna guess I probably have to be tied in then. Um, you will at some point. So you don't have, don't quite have the item for that yet. But oh, you're, that's right, you're but you're on the other side of this bridge now, which is good. Um, that's all water down there. You can always start looking at your map to see if you can figure out what you need to do. Mm. So that's still a fence. Mm. Just keep exploring around, and then you'll find, I think you'll find where you need to go. I'm just curious, can you pick those up? <laughs> those rocks. I'm pretty sure you can. <sighs> yep. All right, cool. Yeah, those are, those are good, because they hurt, like, a lot. Well, that's not how you open that. And don't try bombing it, because that's not what you do. You, you can't get in there for right now. That's actually... Oddly enough, that's an item you get, like, way at the end of the game. I thought that was weird. That they have those all over, like, the early on. Oh. Oh, I know. I know what you need here. But I don't know if you have it yet. That's what's weird. Hmm. You laid two bombs. But... Oh, damn it. Unless you get it here. So you might have to use your shield. To reflect his his Deku nuts back at him. Yeah, just whatever's more comfortable for you. There you go. Now go talk to him. <laughs> yeah, you you can make up a pretty interesting voice for these guys because they're already kind of weird. Oh, maybe this isn't what I was thinking of. Hmm. So, uh, to get past this part, pretty sure you need a bottle. Pretty sure you don't have one yet. A bottle of what? A bottle. It's bottles are like some of one of the most key items in this game. Oh wait, can you climb up those vines? Oh, maybe you don't need one yet. Nope. Yeah, you do, because that doesn't go anywhere. But there's other vines. Well, I'm talking about the other ones. The other ones don't go anywhere either. Because you can't go, you need to grow that one. So, you need a bottle. Don't remember where you get that from, though. I think you get it from the town center. So, try going back there or try going down here. Nope, it's not down oh, here. Oh, I cannot go down there. Well, you can't get to it for right now, though. How do you know? Because there's no way to get to it right now. Oh, there's this. Can't do this yet. Oh, well. Why? I don't even understand why this is even oh. available. Oh, actually, go back in. This might be completely wasting your time, but you can bomb that wall to the right. There might you might not be able to do anything in there, but you never know till you find out. Is it a dance floor? <laughs> not quite. It's actually cool. Actually, in fact, I would say it's cooler than that. It's where you spawn multiple links. Oh, maybe this was the guy you're supposed to go say hi to. Yeah, back up a little bit, because he won't he won't shoot his thing unless you're far away from him. <laughs> All right, go talk to him. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh, there you go. This is how you get a bottle. Nice. Okay. So good, you don't go to the town center. That's like a lot farther away. Would it cost me more money from the town center? No, I don't know if you can even get one from there. That's the problem. All right, so. Now you can go back up the mountain, because I know you needed a bottle for this. 
it's empty. Yeah, no, you, that, that's fine. Empty bottles are really good. Just trust me when I say this. Bottles are like the most universally useful items in Zelda. So now go down to the water's edge right there and uh, uh, select your bottle and use it. Huh? It won't let me select it. Yeah, you can. Now you got water in it. So now try sprinkling it on that plant. Oh, you still want it selected. Yeah. I'm just gonna make it grow. Yep. And I could be wrong, but just in case I'm not... Oh, no, never mind. This is right. Yeah, so just keep going. You can either go up that or... How do I... Oh, you can't yet. Never mind. Sorry. You will soon, though. Just keep... Oh, there's another place you can bomb. No, if you go up. Or don't. It's all up to you. It really is a choose-your-own-adventure game. No, Zelda games are generally pretty linear, but I still like them that way. Um, you can't do anything with that yet. It's above you. So that's another place you can bomb. Or you can go to that door to your left. Any one of those work. What do you know, another Deku guy? Is that what they're called? I don't know if it's Deku or Deku or how you even pronounce it. It's Deku. He's nuts. <laughs> Let's go to Shotgun. There you go. Um, okay, never mind. You don't need this guy. Good now that you're not wasting your bombs. <laughs> you don't need them. <laughs> how many bombs can you even hold? Ten for right now. So yeah, so bomb that one and then maybe go to the other one that was back to the right a ways. I guess you may as well open them both right now. Yeah, there's yep. one of them. It's, you know those are hurting you, right? Yeah. It's just up. Uh, sorry, not right there. Yeah, right up here. Don't stand next to the bomb. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, oh, okay. So now, if you can manage to, tr to do it, switch to your bottle. You can bottle a fairy. You can bottle a fairy. And what these do is they automatically revive you when you die. Like Spyro? No, maybe not Spyro. Is it Spyro? Maybe. I'm not sure. So try and swipe one. It's... Oh, nice. You got it. So unfortunately, I think you have to empty it at some point because you need you need to gather more more liquid in it. But And unfortunately, you can't have both because that would drown the fairy. But for now, you can go into that other cave you blew up. Ah, stuck. And you, you don't need the bottle selected for now either because... Um, you don't ever actually have to use fairies. That's what's cool. Is you can just ho hold them on your person, and then when you die, they revive you. She's not mad that I caught her. You would think so, but apparently not. Alright, so yeah, check out this hole in the wall. Um, you might not be able to do much here. I'm not 100% sure. But try. But you can cross this for now. Let's see if that does anything. Bueno. Uh, more bats, or keys, as they're called in this world. What? Keys. How do you spell it? K-E-E-S. Oh. Why? Oh, okay, these guys. So, uh, well, Ezlo can tell you. Uh, sounds like a job for? The suck jar. Alternatively, if they get, like, trapped, okay, now you can, yeah. Alternative, alternatively, too, if they, like, get stuck, you can just, like, attack them from behind. But this is way more efficient. Yeah, blow him up. Alright, so keep going this way. Hopefully there's something over here. I just don't remember if there is or not. Yeah, you got the rupee. You don't have to smash every pot you come across. They don't always have stuff in them. But how will you ever know if you don't buy lottery tickets? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a new mechanic. Not one you use a lot, but it's still a new mechanic. Hmm. That sounds oh. pretty fucking sinister, alright? Is this the boss? No. No, just ignore that. Jump into the... Did you even read what he said? Yeah, he told me to jump into this. Yeah. 
And now you can steer around and you want to steer and hit the other one. Or just go that way. Wait. I don't like I don't think you're gonna make it. It keeps going. Huh? Keep trying to hit the other or not. I don't understand. Okay. You have to try and get to the other whirlwind before you hit the ground. So now I have to go all the way back. Well yeah, because you didn't do it. Well he didn't really give me that fucking instruction. Well, you should have paid closer attention, I guess. He didn't tell me to do it. Well, well, you're learning now. So you don't need to go and break everything and kill everyone because you've done that already. Oh, except that guy. But So you already want to start turning to that side. Yeah. And then back up. But now you want to go... Or not down, I guess. So now this is a new area. Um, I forget what's up here. Oh yeah, you can shrink if you go down into the... No, can you? I need to be small. I thought you could. Yeah, you should be able to shrink somewhere. Maybe you can uncover it with the, with the suck machine. You have it equipped, yeah. I think it's down in that ring of trees, maybe. That's just a hole to fall down into. If you're tiny. Yeah. It will kill you. No, it won't kill you. It's just something to fall into. You know, exploring and stuff. There you go. That's There's... not a stump? Is it some... No, but it's a new thing you can shrink with. And I guess we'll find out which... Oh, you can skip this. How? Just press any button. It won't skip. skip. What? It's not skipping? No. Oh, uh, maybe because it's a new platform, it's not a tree stump anymore. Oh. Well, anyways, we'll find out what more adventures await Tiny Link in the next episode of The Minish Cap. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.